I know you've been waiting for a long time for this video. I haven't had time to make videos at all because of this new puppy that I got. Um, again, you know, I have three dogs and this is my fourth dog. So it's a lot of work. You know, if you really care about your pets and stuff, you guys know how much work it is to raise dogs, cats, animals in general. But he's super exciting. He is a part of the family now. I can't wait to show you. He's very friendly. He's very playful. Again, it's because he's a puppy. That's why he's like super playful. Hopefully he continues to be playful. Now, the question you guys all been waiting for me to answer is, why did you get another damn dog, Mimi? The answer is, I don't know. I wanted to, out of nowhere, I was like, oh, you know, like I want to expand my family because as of right now, it's me, my fiance and three dogs. Again, two dogs is already a lot and I have three. And now I decided to have four. Um, it's a lot, don't get me wrong, it, it is like having children, to be honest. For me, having dogs is like having children. There's a lot of commitment, there's a lot of things you have to do for them every day. You have to spend quality time with them, you have to train them, you know, you have to, there's just a lot. You have to walk them. It's not fair to, to me, it's not fair for owners to continuously keep buying dogs where they can't fully give their dogs that they already have the full potential of everything that they need for me dogs are everything obviously that's why i added another one if you were to ask me if hey is four dogs that's it for you like four no more that's exactly what my fiance always says now he comes home he sees four dogs and he's like four no more and um but yes as of right now i think four is enough um i mean it should be enough i don't know with me it's hard for me to give you a straight answer it's because again i love animals i love dogs in general so it's really hard for me to tell you no i think this is my last dog but then later on i don't know next year or something i come up with like another dog so as of right now i am content i am happy with the four because again it's a lot of responsibilities you know and a lot of money uh, dog food not cheap especially when you have four you know it's a lot of money so keep that in mind that even having one dog it's pricey um dog food dog shots um annual yearly new shots um you got to give them your attention it's not just money it's about spending time with them being there for them you know because you don't want to just buy a dog and then just let it sit there all alone and stuff you know and if you're too busy with work and stuff where and you're the type of person that can't balance work out with you know your pet i personally feel like it's not for you but you know everyone's different so if you really really want one you'll figure it out because with me me and my fiance used to always work 24 7 and not have time for um, our dogs but you know i was like this is not fair we got to balance something out because we have dogs and you know the last thing you would want is to neglect your dogs and not be there for your dogs because dogs have feelings big time so the dog that you guys all been waiting for i know i've only posted pictures here and there on instagram and i actually haven't even posted any pictures on facebook for, for my family to see so my parents already seen uh, my new dog they were not mad surprisingly i really thought they were gonna like scream at me but no they're actually okay and they they just asked me as long as i'm okay as long as i'm happy then they're okay with it but are you guys ready here's marlo here's marlo hi marlo marlo hi marlo who's that marlo hi marlo here he is he is so cute and again he's so hyper right now but this is Marlo. Marlo, what you doing? Hi, Marlo. Hi, 
Hi. Oh. So this is Marlo. Hi. He is Hi. 10 weeks old. He is a Havanese mixed with a poodle. So Havanese, I believe, is in the same category as a Maltese. So I would just call him a Maltese mixed with a poodle because a lot of the time people are like, oh, what is a Havanese? So yeah, this is him. Um, max weight is probably going to be 10 pounds like my oldest dog. Well, my two dogs, um, Shu and Mocha, they're about 9, 10 pounds. So we believe this is how big Marlo is going to be as well, about 9 to 10 pounds, no bigger than that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he's super friendly. He's super cute. Um, right now we're in the process of potty training because he's not really good with potty training yet. Obviously, he's new to the family. He's new to the whole new, you know, space. So he's going to get used to that. Um, he already got his first set of shots. We're going back, I believe, next week to get some more shots. But um, he has a crate. I will show you guys later. He has a crate bed. He sleeps um, next to Stark. Stark has a crate bed as well. Again, Stark is my third dog, and he's Stark originally was the youngest. Stark's one years old, and yeah, so they're gonna be together. And hopefully, you know, my goal is for them to become best friends. Is because at nighttime they sleep together outside where my kitchen. I have like a little nook in my kitchen where I made it like their dog space. So it's for the both of them, for Marlo and for Stark. So that's where they sleep together at night. And I'm hoping everything will work out eventually and things will get better because he does still scream here and there at night in his crate. Like he'll just wake up screaming. But and overall, he's not as bad. I thought he was going to be worse, to be honest, because dog puppies, especially like their sleeping time and crate training, are probably one of the hardest um, that I've ever experienced. Mocha, because they, they would literally like scream for 30 minutes. Like him, when I first got him the first few days, he was obviously he was screaming a long time is because... Um, you know, he's away from his mom and when we bought him, it was from a really, really, really wonderful Hispanic family in San Jose and um, his mom is Cupid and his dad is Dude and it's, <laughs> that's their names and it's the cutest thing ever. So his dad, I believe, is a poodle, which is like a cream and he's like a cream color and his mom is Cupid. She is the Havanese Maltese and she is black and white like him. And um, the person who sold uh, him to me told me that he was kind of like an accident. It's because the other two are house pets or like her pets and she never wanted them to like have babies. So he was an accident and she said that she couldn't keep a fourth dog. So that's why she put him up for sale. But she was like super picky on who she was selling the dogs to. Um, she was telling me she <clears throat> already like met eight or nine people before me, but she just really didn't have a connection with them. And she's scared that they are going to be breeders. She didn't want to sell it to a breeder because she didn't want him to be used as a breeder. Something like that. I don't know how breeders work, but <clears throat> I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Like we are completely not breeders. All my dogs are either spayed or neutered. So uh, most likely he will be neutered. Um, so yeah, I didn't. I told her and she was like, can you please promise me? I was like, yeah, totally. And I was, and she was like really anxious that <clears throat> Marla was going to go into a very like bad, neglectful family. <clears throat> like she was really, really anxious, I can tell. But I made sure with her that no, we're not breeders and I love dogs. I have three of them. I don't neglect them. I don't treat them bad in any way. So uh, I made a promise to her that I'll text her every day with a picture of him as he's growing and videos of him, whatever makes her comfortable. I am totally down to do. I told her that for the rest of his life, I'm willing to message her every single day. And every day is what I've been doing, uh, messaging her, sending her pictures <clears throat> um, and videos of Marlo, 
whatever you know makes her comfortable it doesn't hurt to just keep her in the loop i don't mind she's part of our family now because marlo's part of her family so i'm completely okay with it um i'll continue doing it so yeah marlo's um original name was junior because his mom's name is cupid and they wanted to name him cupid jr so they just ended up calling him jr which is really really cute i was like that's so cute but <clears throat> within the two days that he first came and we changed his name to marlo he totally understood like he took it in and he recognized his name within two days i think that's very smart so yeah that's what happened and this is marlo he is our new baby so you'll see him on my channel a lot uh, i will record him a lot here and there so you can see him and watch him grow with us and be a part of the family and yeah i can't wait to take him on adventures we want to take him on to tahoe for some snow trips with his brothers and sisters so they can be together and experience the trip together i'm very happy again my heart is extra full because it was already full with the three dogs that i already had so yeah it's just another addition to our family um <clears throat> i know i'm going to get like a couple haters about me having too many dogs and stuff like that and how you know people feel a certain way about me having adding another addition to my home and or to my family and I really don't care, honestly. I mean, I'm happy. And at the end of the day, he's my dog. And I don't see anything wrong with the way I raised my dogs my way, you know. So, yeah. That's, that's my little dude. That's my little baby. And now I have two boys and two girls. He is a boy and starts a boy. Mocha's a girl and she's a girl and yeah, you wanna say bye to everybody? We're gonna end this video. Yeah. Oh my baby. Yep, yeah, so here's little cutie Marlo. Marlo. Hi Marlo. Are you playing with a stick? Are you biting a stick? <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm like super congested. Sweet boy. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Oh, you're so sweet. Hi, sweet boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get him. Get him. Get him, gal. Get him. Okay, don't get him on me. <laughs> Hi Marlo, you look so big. Hi Marlo. 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 Hi Mocha. Hi Mocha. Hi Marlo. Hi Marlo. Hi Marlo. Hi Marlo. Hi Marlo. Marlo, you're so cute. Hi baby. Hi Marlo. Marlo, I'm Marlo. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You winning? You winning? Are you winning? No, you're losing. You're losing. <laughs> and I think we will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.